Now first step is to take the printer out of the plastic packaging. Also remove the orange tapes carefully as you can see here. So you have to remove one by one. Also you will see there is a one tape at the output tray and you can open the top scanner lid in case there is anything le left there you can remove that. Also you have to open the ink cartridge chamber to remove the orange tapes as one tape goes inside the ink cartridge chamber. So take all of them out one by one and one is at the bottom so remove it carefully. Now we have to supply the power line so just plug in the one end of the wire that will go at the back side of the printer and as you can see here it is just at the corner in the middle once we do it now we have to uh, load the paper tray so move the size adjuster and place a4 size sheets here and you can just adjust the size lock the pages and once we do it now we can take the ink starter ink cartridges out as you can see they comes in a plastic packaging also remove the orange seal which is at the bottom of the ink cartridge so do it for the both black and the coloring cartridges one by one so once you do all these steps now we are ready to install them so we have to switch on the printer so press the power button now once your printer is on we go in the front chamber and we open the ink cartridge door as you can see here now the ink cartridge chamber will move and come into a side where we have to install the ink cartridges just slide in and push it inwards it will lock itself because there is no enough space you might have to uh, bend and look for this ink cartridge chamber so do it carefully and once you install them lock the door now we are ready to use this printer so it has so this is the starter ink cartridges which we must install to do the setup process. Overall this printer is good for the wireless printing and scanning. Although it's not very fast but it's good for small use in your home and office. Thanks for watching.